Hello class and welcome to your first tutorial on how to create a maze game using Scratch. So many of you have already created a Scratch account and you've played around in some of the tutorials that appeared here. So this is the game that we're going to make today. It's a simple maze game where you're the dog trying to get to the fire hydrant and when you make contact with any of the walls you basically um, lose the life or make an attempt. So this is the dog saying I need to wee, when you hit the, the wall it says R and it jumps you back to the start. And as I keep doing that you'll see the attempts actually go up and the object of the game is to get to the fire hydrant. When you get to the fire hydrant the wees will go up by one, the dog will say that yay we did a wee and then it's going to go back to the start. So that's the basic game but I encourage you guys to come up with your own version of this game. You could do one based on any of your interests. It could be a movie theme could be um, a book theme, it could be based on your favorite sport or your favorite computer game. So I really encourage you guys to create your own style. So how do you create one of these things? Let's start with creating a new Scratch game. And the first thing you want to do is create the background maze. So you do that using backdrops. So if you click on the backdrop here, um, you can see that the backdrop allows me to either put code on the backdrop and it allows me to edit the backdrop itself uh, and as it actually allows me to add musical sounds to the backdrop if I want to. Uh, but we just want to focus on designing the maze. So the way to design the maze is you can use any of these tools. Um, let's start with a paint bucket. This way you can fill the background up. So I'm going to click on fill and I'm going to choose a color that I might like. Let's say something like this. Um, and then what you do is you basically click on it. Now the thing is, when I click on it, nothing's happening. And the reason for that is because it's in what we call vector format. And we want to convert it to bitmap. Um, we don't need to understand why that is, just we need to convert to bitmap first. So let's click convert to bitmap. And I can click on that. And you can see it makes a green background. I'm going to choose another color now. Let's say this color. Okay. And you can use the line tool here you can change the thickness of the line and you just want to basically drag your mouse um, if you hold down shift uh, nothing happens is it is it shift control no no nothing okay never mind uh, so if you just drag your mouse like that and then I click this you can create a basic ways and you can say oh I want to create it like this so the idea is to have one exit, um, the dog will start somewhere else, maybe I might make him start here, and or you know, whatever thing you're doing. But the important thing to know is that your lines should be thick enough that the dog or whatever character you use can't go through it. Um, and the other thing is to not make the thing so narrow that it's very hard to get through, okay? Because that, for example, will be a very hard maze to navigate. Um, your character will have to be tiny. It's going to be impossible. So keep it simple, uh, keep it big. You can always undo things and so forth. So have a go at that. Um, here's one I created earlier. I'm just recycling what I did last time, um, just to for the purposes of this tutorial. So have a go at making your own design. Um, you could actually add some more cosmetics to it if you want. Let's say I'm gonna add some trees around it. I can something like that. Um, hand drawing is not the best but you get the idea you can decorate it as you like. Okay so you can yeah have some fun with that and I'll show you how to add the characters in the next video.